Hi, it is Thursday the 14th of May 2020 and your test is tomorrow. So what's on the exam? Let's have a look. I've recently made some changes. I've added the next two papers for May um, and I'm still using experimental probability. So let's have a look at where we're at to now. Uh, so what we have here is I've added these two papers on here. So that makes a total of 10. Uh, and what you're interested in here is I've got the percent probability uh, for each topic. So 2%, if you want to understand that, 2% of the entire test uh, will consist of topic 1.1, the nature of matter. Uh, and so if you look down all of these probabilities here, um, you're going to see which uh, content you need to focus on for the exam tomorrow. Okay, so going back to the PowerPoint. Uh, so here we go, so we've got that uh, covered. So two tests added, there's now 10 tests, experimental probability. Uh, methodology, uh, because we're all new here every two years, I'll just go over that one more time. Um, paper one, uh, I'm not really covering because it's just, they can be covered on my quizzes and I do encourage you to subscribe to my website and use that, although it's probably too late now. Um, if you're an early bird, you would have seen this video quite a few months ago. Uh, paper three, uh, basically grab the whole paper three because it's a fairly short test and just do the entire paper uh, and do that a few times. Uh, and so I'm only focusing on paper two for that reason uh, and I'm only focusing on the high level paper because uh, the standard level paper is just basically very similar to that. The high level paper is just an extension. So that's how I've, sim uh, that's how I've simplified it all. Uh, this is the debrief. How did I do last year? Well the comments uh, seem to say I did fairly well. Um, I think I bombed out on one of these. Um, SN1 I didn't see and what else didn't I see? SPDFs. Um, and so if you just want to flick right down to the checklist for this year here, uh, you can see I've made it a little bit smaller. I don't think I've added anything, I've only taken things away. So I've taken away the SPDF uh, and I've taken away a number of the calculations. Calculations are really quite frustrating because they are quite difficult and quite long and often worth one mark. And then you'll be given some fairly simple question that's theoretical, that's asked for a sentence answer and that gets a mark or two marks, uh, which is really dodgy. So they're really decreased um, uh, they've, I think they've, I don't know what to say. They've made it a little bit easier, I guess. I'm not quite sure. Um, I'm a little bit worried that they actually might watch this video and it's still quite a few months away and they might change things. Um, but that's what I'm putting out uh, for a smaller cramming checklist. Uh, just to jump for those who don't have time, I'll just jump straight to those people who are watching this video tonight. Um, based on that, I've actually eliminated uh, topic seven. I'll go into this in a little bit more detail, uh, but you'll see that there's about 10% of each of those sections, one, four, five, uh, one, four, five, six, eight, and 10. I would focus on that. I would go through the playlists, uh, click on the cog under YouTube and go at two times speed. Um, and then if you get time, then go through that cramming checklist on the previous slide I showed you. And um, for paper one, I would use the online quizzes because they get automatically marked and you can quickly redo them all over again. So that saves time. So uh, moving on to the changes, I will just jump to the analysis here now. Um, so what you can see here is uh, I've highlighted in this light pink color uh, the changes. You can see that there's generally only 1% up or down. Oops, 1% uh, up or down in all of these things. Uh, so no huge changes. They do generally stick uh, to the pattern. Uh, and so you can see that um, obviously topic one uh, is always going to give you about 10% of your marks. Um, they pretty much never talk about periodic table. So mm, suspicious. Why did they put that in there? I don't know. I, I would think if I was going to hedge my bets, uh, and you really want the sevens, I think I'm 
gonna think that maybe someone's watching this video and maybe they're changing things. So titration calculations and Winkler method, uh, you know, I, I, I don't know the psychology here of double guessing, you know, if they've never done it before, maybe they're gonna do it this year. Um, but then maybe they watch this video and it's months in advance and they say, ah, oh, everyone knows to do that. We're not gonna do it, I don't know. If you're an examiner, can you give me a cryptic message saying that whether or not you watch this and whether me posting this video out actually inhibits is a bad thing? I don't know. Um, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. Um, it doesn't matter, they stick to the, the main things anyway, which, which makes sense. Like if you're gonna understand chemistry, you have to know how to do stoichiometry. Otherwise you just can't say you can do chemistry. Um, what else do you need to do? You could probably skip organic chem, but they love to throw lots of that in there. Um, really the only thing that you can't get by, if you, can, you have to be able to do stoichiometry if you're going to do chemistry. The rest is theoretical in, in some sense and, and, and all those other calculations are really extensions of stoichiometry. Um, so they're never going to get rid of that. Um, so anyway, that's it. So you can see there's about 10% there. I flagged uh, in the past and I flagged this time too, where they've done something quite weird. Um, so there's, that was uh, in a previous year. For this year, the red flags, um, if I just look down these two columns here, they finally hit hit you with a Bourne Harbour cycle. Um, so I would be quite surprised if they actually repeat that for next year. I would say they're not going to. Um, I'd say they're gonna hit you with something else that's massive and I don't know what that is. Um, you know, maybe it could be I don't know. I'd just be surprised if it was a born, a born harbor one. Maybe it could be something like, oh, I don't know. It's getting it's getting fairly fairly balanced now. Um, maybe one of the energetics ones. They've done formation this year, uh, last year. So maybe they're going to do something else. But that one seemed to be highly imbalanced. Uh, sort of 10 marks on energy cycles, basically because half of it was a born harbor cycle. It was going to happen eventually and it happened last year. Um, so that's bumped that one up again. Uh, there was another anomaly that I'm not quite happy with and I've had to alter my PowerPoints, which I'll come to in a second. Uh, is this also, there's a PKA question there. It's just not always in textbooks really clearly and not emphasized. It's in the, it's been introduced into the new Australian ATAR system in Queensland and they're all from the IB, those guys at, at, in the top, you know, echelons of, of the Queensland education. I'm suspicious there's a couple of Australians um, that have gotten used to PKA, I don't know. I'm a bit suspicious that um, they've had an influence and so we've seen that in there and I'll, I'll show you that I've, I've done some updates um, for that. And so that was something I wasn't too happy with. So the time zone one, they're both from time zone one, by the way. The time zone two um, seems to be easier, which is a bit of a controversial thing to say. Um, but because of those two things, they didn't, time zone two didn't have a Bourne Harbour and didn't have the PKA graph. Um, so I thought that for that reason, it was much easier. Um, what else am I going on here? Um, so I've listed, I've. You know, if you're if this is the night before, um, there are certain things that you could skip and certain things that you don't want to skip. So um, I've gone for like ten percent. So here, topic four has ten percent. This one doesn't. Only has six. Only has four. So skipping the entire two topics, you lose ten percent. It's two entire topics. That's a fifth. That's twenty percent of your entire um, course. Um, so I'm just you know balancing things out here. Same with. Equilibrium, I know it's not the heart of an, a topic and you, if you've done that assets basis, you know how to do those things anyway. Um, and obviously if you're standard level, that might be different. You might want to focus a little bit more on topic seven. Um, this is a slightly biased high level one. Um, and so I, I basically that's, you can see the numbers there and add them up to see where I've got where to focus on. Um, they always love, um, so I, what have I stopped? I've um, so I've, I've sort of artificially started up energy cycles as something to worry about. Um, I've kept going on cell potentials uh, and I've stopped fundamentals of organic chem. They haven't done a lot of naming, uh, just a little bit. 
uh, and some related stuff. Uh, but they still put lots and lots, especially the spectroscopy, which is really organic chem. Um, gee, they put lots of different questions in there. That might be a three, but you know, that's like, that could be actually three separate questions rather than just one question with three marks. Uh, and so there's heaps of organic chem in there, uh, which is a lot of memorization, which is, uh, I don't really like uh, that part of organic chem. Um, I like the process as an understanding of how it works on a chemical basis, but I don't know, not too, I'm not too excited about the memorization bit, which is organic chem, which is more than all the other topics. Um, and so you can see that if you, if you need to slow down, you can just scroll through and have a quick look again at that analysis. But just once again, that what I've added are these two papers. Uh, to get a complete overall total of this um, and the red flag sort of see the difference. Okay, so just going back to the PowerPoint. Um, so differences are highlighted orange going up and down. Um, topics uh, that are, occur frequently two, around 2% are up of highlighted uh, and red flags for anomalies. Um, and so based on that, uh, so I've, I've gone over my PowerPoints. I've used my PowerPoints to match up to the syllabus because my PowerPoints are the syllabus. They have the syllabus there, but they pick their sort of visual so I can tell. Um, so the PowerPoints, I've, I've altered little bits and pieces to match up with the IB mark schemes a little better in some cases, uh, but they're all sort of very minor additions. Uh, the big additions I'm going to put in here. Um, so there was another thing there I can see I've written down there, dimers. There's a question on dimers, which is in an it's in an option, but it's not in the core syllabus. But you should be able to clever, cleverly enough erase the word dimer and still work out what the heck the question's about and what it's asking intuitively and by analysing the structure of it. Um, but just to let you know that, I don't know if they've just slipped up a little bit last year and they seem to be putting a lot of stuff in there that's, I don't know, I, I feel a little bit more sort of left field than I normally feel when I look through the exams. Um, and so I've, because I don't want to redo the whole, power, all the PowerPoint, all the videos again, I'm just going to show the major additions and updates I've done for the PowerPoint. So the, there's only two really, covalent structures. I've just made it more explicit, dative and co coordinate covalent bonds. If you've watched all my videos, you know I talk about it and it comes up in more of my topic, but I've never put a slide just focusing on that. Um, and so I'm going to throw, I've just thrown that into the topic four PowerPoints, which I've updated and holding on to at the moment. Um, and then 18.3 um, had some issues with this also with the new Australian syllabus that we're working on. Um, so teaching, the implementing in Queensland. Uh, so there's a few changes in there. Um, again, it's terminology rather than practical being able to do stuff, which is quite annoying, but whatever. So the, the terminology is there. And this is the, the real big one. What, how do you do the pKa from an acid experimentally? So you basically take the volume it took to neutralize it and half that volume gives you um, the HA and HA minus is equal, which allows you to manipulate the equation to a point where you can just work out the pH of the pKa because you know um, the hydrogen ion concentration at a certain amount. Um, if you can read through that slide there, you'll see it. And there's a there's another graph there. So there's just the pKa really uh, and the uh, dative bond. Uh, I've done as only the really major, perhaps, um, updating of the PowerPoints. Um, okay, so that's all I have to say then. I'll just I'll jump back to the cramming checklist. Um, it's a little bit smaller. Um, I really think they have the whole, I'm a little bit jaded on the calculations. There's so much work for the calculations and then they're worth one mark on the mark scheme. And it's like, wow, what's the point? Um, so I've deleted a, a number of ones that I think, well, that's just too much effort for one mark. If you're just watching this the night before and you can't do any, well, maybe do those ones. Uh, some of them there are still quite difficult. Um, but I've deleted one or two. Um, so I've made that simpler. Um, and then basically even deleted certain topics that just turn up so infrequently, they're not going to make a difference. Um, you can possibly still get a seven uh, without even knowing those topics if you know the rest of them quite well. Um, hopefully you've watched this video when it got released. And if you're going for a seven, you're learning everything because um, that's the only way to ensure a seven. Uh, but I'm sure for a lot of people, they're just looking for a pass and this should get you a pass um, for those 
night crammers. All right, um, so best of luck. I won't see you again because you're doing the last test. Um, put a like on the video and that's it. Uh, encourage uh, the, year, the uh, year below you to, uh, to sign up to the website. Okay, bye-bye.